Hello everyone, this is CM Kozeman again, back after a long absence of maybe more than three years on YouTube. I used to have these long and uh, chatty videos where I showed people my books and spoke about zoology and whatnot, but I mean, uh, over the last three years I've kind of lapsed on YouTube ever since... Uh, my old home got demolished in a kind of accident of urban renewal and I started to devote more time to uh, more time to painting and stuff uh, so now I've planned a return to YouTube hopefully in a more talk radio like format uh, where uh, I will completely dispose of the images and video altogether because most of the time I've noticed people only listen to stuff on YouTube and instead it will be a more kind of meandering talkative event in which I hope I will keep you entertained and informed about not just paleontology, biology and strange things in history but all manner of things. So, without much ado, let's get on with it. Have I ever told you the parable of Atopodentatus the Weird? His face was so strange that his teeth could even keep the little things from escaping. This is a bad Star Wars joke, but anyways, Atopodentatus. It's this fantastically named uh, creature from, uh, I think... The Triassic era, which you probably may have seen it if you're into this kind of stuff. But for those of you who are not initiates, let's start with describing. Uh, Atopodentatus was a marine reptile, kind of like a very long bodied sea iguana, as long as a door, I guess. And it had this kind of weird zipper like face, uh, or that's what people thought at first. Uh, its face basically had an enormous hair lip. Uh, it's like cleft down the middle of the face. And the sides of this cleft were thought to be lined with needle-like tiny teeth. So those would keep uh, small prey from escaping. And the whole animal was thought to be a filter feeder. And it was only known from one fossil. Now the funny thing is, if we had only that fossil, this weird image of the creature, would still have endured. But over the intervening years, something else happened. Another Atopodentatus fossil was found, and it was discovered that this cleft-faced Lovecraftian monstrosity was an error. Uh, the animal was still strange. I mean, its body was still more or less as we pictured it to be, but uh, its face, uh, what people took to be the kind of cloven face, was actually a kind of more T-shaped, duckbill-like thing, and the teeth, which people thought to have lined its uh, weird face, turned out to be uh, inside projection, more or less regular teeth, uh, which, we, which now we thought with which we now thought it ate underwater grass or something. So here you go. One fossil completely revises what we knew about uh, a certain animal. And it's not... I mean, this wasn't a kind of like, oh yeah, there's this weird fossil. No, there was like a rigorous scientific reconstruction of Atopodentatus with this cloven face and everything. So this makes me think... The parable of Atopodentatus. This makes me think how many other Atopodentati, figuratively speaking, are lurking in the, our repositories of paleontological and historical knowledge. You know, which uh, grave errors are we committing to heart without really understanding what's going on in there? And this is what I think uh, is the parable of Atopodentatus, you know, never take things for granted and, you know, not just in paleontology, but with anything, you know, uh, bizarre instances, if we have only one 
stem of evidence from them could have been stranger or more mundane. So this is what this uh, weird-faced Paleozoic freak creature must teach us, I think. Anyways, Google the name Atopodentatus. That's A T O P O D E N T A T U S. So there we go. That's that a five minute introduction returning to the fold of YouTubing, which has changed uh, in really strange and somewhat violent ways since I was last here. And we'll get to that more in the following episodes. Uh, this is a kind of YouTuber's mantra now. Please like my video, leave a comment, and, and please ask questions and tell me about what I should speak on in my next videos. If you don't give me any hints, I'll just dig up an issue by myself. But uh, goodbye and welcome back. And uh, my best regards to anyone. Do not take the past for granted, cause it will always be stranger. Ciao!